happening this morning. The Famous Fund is partnering with the Deshaun Watson Foundation to give back. And Joseph Ojo is live in Southeast Baltimore as donations are rolling in. And Joseph, we want to ask you as we're seeing them come off the truck here, is it still, is it time? Can people still come out this morning if they need donations? You're not good. Hey there, Shelly. Good morning. Yes, a lot of people can still come out this morning. Uh, we have already seen a line of cars. This is just right now, if you take a look at this line right here, this is definitely a lot less than what we've seen Hello, earlier today because a lot of families have been served. You can see some of the particip uh, not yeah. participants, but the organizers here. You see like Baltimore. I don't think it'll Rice, fit actually. But you can see a lot of there. this food is coming off. I'll put in the back if that's okay. We want to bring in uh, John, John right here, the owner of uh, Jim. Jimmy's famous seafood. He's actually handing out okay. a box right now. Hey, how's, how you doing this morning, John? Right, how are you? Good Just morning. Tell us about this today's event. You know, you're partnering with the Deshaun Watson Foundation, Ray Rice too, as well, to just feed families here in Baltimore. Tell us about today. Yeah, of course. Uh, obviously, it's no secret that Baltimore is going through a tough time right now. So, uh, any time that we can put our talents together and our resources together and call in some favors uh, to help people out, uh, it's a no-brainer for us. And we've seen that the lines have just been growing this morning. You know, there's a number of cars here that keep coming back and yeah. forth. Just shows how much this pandemic has affected just a ton of people here in Baltimore and just all over. But you can see the line of people who are here today. How important is this? How, how does this make you really feel to give back to these people when you see this long lines of people who really desperately need food? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, a, it's a blessing. Uh, it's our duty, I think, uh, as Baltimoreans to take care of each other. And that's what Baltimore is and always has been about. It's neighbor helping neighbor. And uh, it's, it's, it's really uh, restoring my faith, you know, that there is light at the end of the tunnel. And when you see people helping people like this coming together on a cold Saturday morning, uh, <laughs> that everything's going to be okay. And we got each other. And do you know just what might be in these boxes, just for some viewers who might be wondering what types of food is in these boxes? You know, there might be some people that still want to come out to this event. Yeah, absolutely. These are beautiful boxes, uh, proteins, vegetables, dairy. Uh, you know, we've seen giveaways before where it's cheese and crackers per se. Uh, we, you know, our partners have really gone all out. Uh, these boxes are, are just, they're going to help people get through several weeks um, that, that don't have resources right now. And it'll make sure that they're fed well. Uh, there were no corners cut here. And as you can see by the overwhelming response, uh, I think the word's out. Well, thank you so much, John. We thank appreciate you for your it. Time. And just as he said, this is going to be a first come, first serve basis. So. As this food starts to run out, you know, we're talking about 300 boxes, but a lot of people are coming here that we're seeing right now, lines of cars. So you want to come here. This event has already kicked off and started at 9 o'clock. It's a first-come, first-served basis. But we'll be out here giving uh, live reports and live updates telling you about this uh, food giveaway event. But we're live here in Baltimore. Joseph Ojo, Fox 45 News. All right, Joseph, thank you. Yeah, we'll check back in.